It's the gear tester here, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about what I call tripod furniture. That's basically camp furniture that's based primarily on using small tripods to hold it up to make it functional. Here I've got a log, and then I've got these two tripods set up, one here and one there, and that basically gives me a bench here by my fire. One of the reasons you might want to use tripod furniture is it's very lightweight if you're doing something like camping or backpacking because all you need to take with you is the cordage and then you find the rest of the pieces of the furniture you find the, the beams that are going to make the tripod and then you find the main beam that's going to make the seat and that's one of the reasons I like it is it's very lightweight you're able to improvise uh, in your surroundings and there would be situations where I would not mind cutting down some saplings if I had to do that in order to make the support beams and I might even cut down something to make the main beam that you're sitting on in some situations. I'm going to first look for dead standing and uh, maybe even fallen trees that are still in usable condition. I'd be very careful about the quality of these beams that you use uh, because if they break they're going to hurt you. And if you fall off you're going to increase the chances of hurting yourself. So these need to be quality. Uh, this can be a little less quality because it's going to be bigger. Keep in mind that the bigger your main uh, beam is, the larger it is around, the uh, better your behind is going to feel because it's going to be dispersed over a large area. This is actually relatively small. If you had a, a larger beam too, you could cut a portion of it off and that would enable you to actually have a flat portion here on the top of, of the beam where you could sit and that would be more comfortable. But it's lightweight, it's easy to you, easy to manufacture with either dead standing or even live trees in some situations. You know, if, if you make this Many people that come after you uh, in, in a number of backpacking trails will use it around the campfire. So I, don't, I wouldn't want to just go out and chop down every tree that I, that I saw, but there might be some situations where it would be appropriate to cut down live trees and make something like this. If it's on your property, that's a perfect a situation where you can actually use uh, the materials around you. And it's great. It's lightweight. It's easy, and you're being able to improvise and take what you have and make it work. Another one of the benefits that tripod furniture does for you in a wilderness situation is it gets you up off the ground. I'm not having to sit down, even if there's a nice log that's keeping me from dry and keeping me from getting wet by sitting directly on the ground, I'm still having to bend way down and after a long day of backpacking and your back is sore, you may not want to do that. So one of the benefits of this is it brings me up. It gets me up and I'm able to sit at a normal level that my legs relax a little bit and I'm not cramped and I'm not sitting down and having a hard time getting up and down. It also, tripod furniture, because it gets you up and you're able to straddle it like I'm doing here, it also gives you a great workbench kind of a system. You can see here I've just taken a couple wax here and given myself a little dished out area. And what that does is it allows me to have an area where little pieces of wood will bite in as I'm working a piece of wood and it allows me to be more precise. Let's say I'm making a, a tent peg or something like that here. Maybe I've got a tarp system that I'm putting up in. I'm planning on making the tent pegs to hold that system up in the forest. Okay, and in order to have a, a lighter load as I backpack in. And so this allows me to be more precise. It also means that I'm not driving my hatchet, my edge, into the ground or some other negative uh, situation where I might be doling the blade. Here I'm not doling the blade at all. I'm able to do fine movements. I'm able to be precise. I can see it and I'm not kneeling down. I'm not sitting down on the ground. It's keeping me safer. I've got something that the blade is not getting doled on and if I miss or, or miscalculate where I'm wanting to chop, my blade goes right into the wood and not into my soft flesh. It doesn't swing down and I don't over cut. So it gives you the ability to be up off the ground and it gives you a, a workbench, a cutting system where you can be more precise, safer, and it's just more comfortable to work this way. So here I am out filming the tripod furniture video and these little rabbits are just running around in the lawn near me. I just thought that was cool. If you like this video, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel for more quality video reviews on shooting, camping, and survival gear. This is the Gear Tester signing off.